What's up, bitches? Malakilla here with another fucking video. And when I call y'all bitches, I don't mean that you're all bitches or anything. I don't get it's not it's not a sexist thing against the ladies. I mean, men can be bitches too. Every now and then, I bitch. You know, it is what it is. And bitches got a bitch. Maybe I should clean my screen real quick for you, huh? All right, there we go. Yeah, probably ain't no fucking better. So. I see on the uh, the little forums there, the little uh, on the little groups there. They uh, oh yeah, you just get those pop up ones from a Harley or a blacked out Harley cap. Okay, so you know, in the interest of uh, pissing away money and for funsies, I thought, hey, let me get one of those things. So first off, I buy one. All right, let me. Uh... <laughs> You're gonna love this thing. All right, um, so I buy one, right? I bought one of these cunts. All right, take a look at this thing. Number one, uh, a little bit of pitting on the uh, on the threads there, but you know, not that bad. Okay, okay. Um, it appears to be pretty accurate as far as the thread pitch. Everything seems to be right. Now, number one is a in the photos it shows beautiful knurling. Now, this is going to probably look real good in the video. Ah, oh, fuck you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Focus, 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 focus. There you go. Eh, it don't look too, too bad. Depends on the lighting, I suppose. But, ow. Hit the fuck. There, look at that. There, yeah, focus right the fuck in. Number one, look at that fucking knurling there. That's some pretty shitty fucking knurling. And yeah, trust me, Malachi here, <laughs> he's a... He's an expert at fucking doing shitty knurling on the old lathe back there, you know? Because <laughs> I'm no fucking expert at that shit. So, it has, like, no grip at all. I mean, it's, like, indented in there vaguely. Total shit. All right, the next part of this thing. The gasket O-ring. Number one, it's a two-piece gasket they got here. They got, like, a roundish, we'll say, or oval cut shape thing with a groove all the way around the outside of it and then a flat uh, square cut punched out freaking piece of rubber freaking gasket. But they didn't put the fucking thing into the groove. They just jammed two fucking pieces of rubber ring on there and said, fuck it, you're done. Peace out. Did my fucking job, bitches. You know, my, you know, $12 an hour. You know, we, we know this was Hensho in China. You know, and that's fine. I'm not knocking China because China's can be perfectly fucking good. They can make good shit. They will make anything to the level you pay them to make it at. That's a critical piece of information in your life. People always bitch about China, China, China. Everything's Chinese is all trash. China will make, if, if you pay China to make a fucking cell phone, and you say make it as cheap as possible, they will. You say make it as expensive as possible, or as good as possible, they'll make a fucking iPhone. iPhones are fantastic. Fucking Samsung has them making phones, all kinds of shit. So hey, you can get top tier shit if you fucking pay them. Obviously, the the, the jerk offs who uh, sent them the, the design for this did not fucking pay them well. Okay. First off, you see the silver little markings right there. That's where they took our angle grinder and tried to deburr it by hand. It's a shit job. Look at that. That's some fucking, that's some hack job shit. I mean, I could have did fucking better than that fucking here. But I'm, I'm no fucking pro. <sighs> the next part of this thing. Um, you'll see all this oil on here. Why is there all that oil on here? Well, because this thing was fucking crunchy as fuck trying to fucking get the mechanism to even work. But does it work? Okay. Yes, I think this thing fundamentally does work. Now, maybe some of y'all bought a fancier one, more expensive. You went to the Harley dealership. You fucking took it. Uh, you, you, well, you didn't need this lube because they fucking lubed you up for you for the uh, before you went to the when you got to the counter. So, does it screw in? Oh, she screws in so nice. Actually, really, there's no complaint there. It does screw in. But issue one. Oh. Looks like goddamn fucking Heisenberg fucking right there, stuck in a snowbank. <laughs> okay. Now, you just, all you gotta do is push it down, and you turn it, right? Except for, it doesn't fucking turn. It kind of grabs a little bit, but you can't, get, oh, oh, I may have it though. I think I got it. I think I got it. Wow, that was the most successful one yet. Okay, and I've tried a dozen times. Okay, so now you got your little smooth thing. It really needs an exterior bezel. Now, if you got yourself a really nice tank bib on here or something like that, 
leather, whatever material, it could actually be pretty decent. But until then, you got this big fucking gasket. Fucking, hey, it's a shit job. Okay. Now, can I open it? I have no idea. Oh, oh. That looks like the trick. You push, 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 twist, twist, twist. Push, push, push. It's like... Push, twist, push, twist. But you won't really know if it's really there until it goes flush. Like, okay. So I guess it's, it is kind of doable. But oh my god, you gotta... Oh, got it there. And then you're supposed to be able to unscrew the, the fucking thing. I think that's a big pain in the ass. I think this is cheap shit. So, my opinion, don't fucking waste your fucking money. What I think you should do, and this is the fucking smart move, is you, A, you can go to somebody who does vinyl wrapping and ask them, see if you can get a piece of black vinyl wrapping cut off. You only need a small piece to wrap a gas cap. You probably go on the, uh, on the, uh, the Amazon and you probably spend five bucks and get a big old sheet of it. Put that on there, peel it, you stick it on, you, uh, you, you steal your daughter's or your uh, wife's, uh, whatever, somebody's. Actually, there's a split ring here, so maybe it was supposed to be the split thing. I don't know what the hell is this up with that second gasket on that thing. I have no fucking clue. Um, and use a heat freaking thing to heat gun of some kind, hair dryer, whatever. And you, and you vinyl wrap that fucker. And it'll be blacked out, and it'll look just fucking fine. And that's all you fucking need. So, I don't know why they give you the big chrome titty on a fucking nearly blacked out bike, you know. But, they, you know, everybody bitches about all the fucking stainless screws, too. Um, another thing is people should just, uh, people bitch about these fucking things being all bright and whatnot. Either, A, get some freaking paint and just paint the fucker. I mean, it's just aluminum. You can paint it. Or, B... Have one of those uh, uh, 3D printer, you know, peoples. You know, you buy the, the you, you say, hey, I need something with, you measure your outside diameter on the, the hex nut here. So you want to be kind of press fit almost. You say, hey, I need it to be an inside step to this, another inside step to this diameter, with this much of a step up, with this much of a step up, domed if possible or whatever. And you get the new thing, maybe a dab of epoxy, Maybe not, whatever. Depends on how good it fits. And you jam that fucking cunt on there. Call it done. Sand the top of it. Because, you know, you just got the little styration marks. But that's a digression. We're not going to discuss that right here. Anyway, hope somebody fucking learned something. You wasted fucking eight minutes of your fucking life. Um, all I'm saying is, you're going to look like a goddamn fool in front of all your Harley Hogan buddies. Uh, you know, dicking with this thing at the gas pump. So... If you want to look like an asshole in front of those guys, you can go right on ahead. You know, they, they already think you're an asshole anyway because you bought a fucking Polaris. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but let me fucking tell you, you know, you can own a fucking Harley and you fucking look like an asshole because your fucking bikes broke down for fucking six months at a time because, you know, you fucking rode at 80 fucking miles an hour for like 10 miles and fucking blew a fucking head gasket. So fuck you, right? Peace out, bitches.